scheduled uh, a little live chat here. We're going to talk a little bit about gardening. Going to give you guys some tips and tricks. Give people a couple minutes because nobody knew that this was, was going to be going out there. So out here for a second. Sorry about my appearance. I was working outside today, so I'm a little bit grumpy, a little bit sweaty, but I know all y'all won't care. Uh, I hope you all are having a great Sunday, Enjoy, enjoying your weekend, spending time with your family. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a tour of the garden here today. Uh, this is going to be a really short live stream and we'll, uh, I'll give you some tips and tricks as we go along the way here. But uh, we'll give it another minute here and then I'll just go ahead and get started because I don't want to have a super long intro. Anyways, if you've been watching the channel, uh, you know that we've got a giveaway coming up. So let's, let's talk about that real quick. So in that giveaway, we've got all kinds of goodies coming along. I've got a Morgan Silver Dollar. I've got a JMB Silver Round that was sent to us by Titan Preparedness to give away. Uh, we've got uh, three uh, Barber Halves that, sorry, I don't have my tripod. I'm working from my hand, so you're going to get a little bit of camera shake here. I have three Barber Halves that are going to go in that giveaway. I've got some t-shirts, some mugs, some water bottles, some tumblers. Hey, Billy, it's good to see you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I've got some, uh, what else? What else is going in there? I've got a, hey, Titan Preparedness, good to see you, brother. Oh, you're very welcome. I appreciate you sending in that round for the giveaway. Um, I've got a hydration backpack that was sent to us by Teton Sports, and please check them out. Teton Sports is awesome. I use their tent in my bug out bag. That's the Mountain, it's Mountain Ultra One. I did a review on that. You can find that if you're interested. And what else do we got? We got, I got two other companies that are sending me stuff that I don't want to announce until it gets here. And I got a little swag pack sent from um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Now, if you've never checked out Smoky Mountain Knife Works, I encourage you to go check them out as well. Uh, I do a lot of knife reviews and things like that. I love to show you the knives that I work with on my channel. So a lot of those knives have come from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Definitely check them out. All right, and last little shout out here. I wanna say that the plants that you're gonna see today, most of them have been from seeds from Pine Tree Garden Seeds. If you are interested, you can use a coupon code SARGE10 over at www.superseeds.com for 10% off of your orders of $20 or more. If you are in the north, it is not too late. You still have time to get your seeds going. If you're in the south, uh, maybe look at their live plant section and see what, see what you can do with that. Because uh, if you go from seeds now, you're going to be just a little bit behind. All right, so for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, I am in South Carolina. We are region, I'm on the coastal area, so I think we're region um, zone 8B or whatever. Let's go ahead and show you what I got going so far. I'm going to flip the camera here, so just bear with me. And again, I apologize for the camera shake. I do not have my tripod with me. All right. All right, so let's go ahead over here. I've got two raised bed gardens, and then I've got some plant stuff planted all around. So... Little update here. These are these are sweet potatoes. Uh, I probably am gonna thin that out. Um, if you weren't aware, sweet potato leaves, I believe these are edible. It's been a few years since I've grown them, so I gotta fact check that. But you can saute them with oil and butter and salt and pepper. Uh, and they're not bad, they're not bad. All right, so I got a couple little tomato plants here. Now I didn't, I don't plant a ton of tomato plants on my property because uh, there's some, we have a bug here called the leaf hopper which just really loves to decimate my tomato plants. So usually by halfway through the season, um, I'm done, whereas other people who don't have that problem can get them all summer long. So I only plant a couple. But actually, let's come over, go over here. I want to show you something cool. Bear with me here just a second. All right, so see this little guy down here? This was a little experiment. Let me see, I put my finger on him so you can see him better. That was a little experiment when I was putting these that tomato plant in there, uh, a, a branch broke off and I said, well, let me just stick it in the dirt and water it really well. And it's actually starting to leaf. So it survived. Um, we'll see how it does. It's very small, obviously, compared to the rest of the garden, but we'll see what it does. Uh, just kind of a fun little thing to do. If you break off a branch, you don't automatically have to discard it. You might be able to grow another uh, tomato plant out of it. All right, so then a lot of this is different types of peppers. Uh, I've got tons and tons of pepper seeds growing, so I planted a mix this year. I'm not going to be saving anything out of this. Uh, if you're not aware on seed saving, right? So if you wanted to save your seeds from your peppers and get consistent results the next year, you want to grow like either open pollinated or, um, or heirloom, and you want to grow only one variety. Uh, I'm not going to save my seeds this year because I've got tons and tons, so I grew uh, multiple varieties.
This here is Mammoth Dill. And I've got a couple of these I'll show you in a second here. These are volunteers. They just, uh, want the great thing about dill, and this originally came from Pine Tree Garden Seeds years ago, is it tends to reseed itself. So what will happen is this will get big and big and big, and then it'll blow off seeds, and then the seeds will reseed itself. So it's one of those things if you're like a homesteader or you're thinking about sustainable gardening food for food shortages and just want to be more independent, have food for your family all year long, I do recommend you plant some dill because it tends to just kind of keep producing itself. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm just trying to read tight in the comment. Uh, I'm in the super bright sunlight, so it's it's a little hard for me to see the comments. Sorry, guys. Um, it's a little warm on the coast today. All right, so this here was another volunteer, and I wasn't sure what this was. Obviously, if you're familiar with plants, that's from the nightshade family. Um, I had to had to actually had to do a little work on that one. That's a potato, and I uh, over here I planted potatoes last year. So something must have kind of moved a little bit and ended up over here. Um, I don't know, because potatoes tend to spread out. We, we may have to thin that one out. We'll see, we'll see what we do with that. Then I got a couple more volunteer dill. I'm telling you, it just kind of pops up everywhere. All right, so my first little tip here. See this here? That is from squirrels. They like to put acorns in my garden and then they come back and look for them. Um, it's just one of the problems we got. All right, so first little tip here. See this here? I got my first little pepper flowers. Now, if you want to, uh, the one thing that you can do is you can start pinching these off. And I know that sounds counterintuitive. Why would you do that? Well, you can pinch it off because it'll actually encourage more plant growth. So at this point, this plant's really not, uh, it's not at a, a place where it could start sustaining the growth of a pepper. So I'll probably gather, or you can use pruners and get a nice clean cut. And when you pinch off early flowers like that, that will, um, it will obviously it's not gonna produce a pepper right now, but it'll produce, make the plant grow bigger. And then you can get more peppers later on down the road. Let's go over to this one here. Now I got some basil here. It's a little bit slow growing, but it is coming along. This oregano here, folks, is several years old. Also, it came from Pine Tree Garden Seeds. Really, really good genetics. Um, oh, got a little weed. Look at that a little weed hiding in there. So we'll just try to see if we can pop him out. Um, I'm trying to remember what the, I think it was just Italian oregano. I don't remember if there was any specific strain that I picked up. Got another little volunteer dill over there. Got a couple little strawberries coming along. I, I wish these were doing a little bit better. I was kind of hoping they're gonna grow and produce babies. Now, again, with strawberries, same thing. If you want them to last several years, you probably should come in and pinch off those flowers, at least in the first year. I know I know, it's like, I don't wanna pinch off my flowers because I want strawberries. If you do it in the first year, you're gonna get a whole lot more in the second and third year. Okay, this rosemary, also several years old. Excuse me. Holland's really bad today. Several years old, also came from Pine Tree Garden Seeds. Now this one here, having a little trouble with my asparagus. I had to actually put a tomato cage on here. Um, you know, I had wild asparagus when I was in Kentucky and I was lucky, it just kind of grew and grew well, have been several years old. So I'm trying to get it started here. The thing about asparagus is it takes several years to get going, but once you get it going, you'll get like 12 years worth of crop. So it's worth it to put the effort in. The thing is I had planted this whole set. Tree, the first few years, you're not gonna get good production. So you can actually produce what we call false fruit last year. This is a fig tree. It's too small, too unhealthy to be able to support, uh, to support anything. So. Uh, the fruit basically dies off. I'll show you an example of it over here. Okay, see these? These are peaches right here. See that? That's a peach, but that's actually a false fruit. It's it's gonna what it's gonna happen is I can actually just pinch it off because I already know what's gonna happen. Here's another one. They're too small. It can't it can't really it can't this this tree is too young to be able to support fruit yet. But that's a good sign. It's healthy. This is normal. Um, all all fruiting trees and bushes will do this. Uh, they'll get in the first few years, they'll get what you call false fruit. You're going to get excited because you're thinking I'm finally getting peaches or I'm finally getting uh, figs and things like that, but it's not, they're not going to make it. They're going to die off in production. Here's another one right here. So, you know, don't get too excited in the first few years when you see this stuff. 
they will they will die out and that's normal usually around for a fruit tree like this this peach tree in year seven is when you're going to start getting some decent results smaller fruit trees like these fig trees over here uh year four or five maybe five year five you'll start getting some results our lemon tree is about six years old this was the first year we started getting lemons on it so it is what it is for berry bushes and things like that you're likely to like we have blueberry bushes usually in the second year you'll get a little bit third year you start getting a little bit more by year five and six you're getting a pretty good crop all right let me switch here one more time guys and then we're going to call it a day bear with me a second all right, Whew. sorry about all the connection issues, guys. Uh, just, I was out here, I thought I'd do a quick, uh, quick garden update for you. I was gonna show you the blueberry bushes too, but um, connection's just too wonky, we'll do that another day. I hope you all are having a great Sunday. If it's nice where you are, make sure you get outside, uh, you know, do something fun, enjoy the weekend while you can. Keep planting your seeds, keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge. Thank you everybody in the comments section. I'll read those in just a bit.